What is up everybody? Let's check out the three entries I'm going to redesign in a very fast time-lapse fashion. First entry, yes, it is kind of like a 2012 style hero section. Second entry, a contact form, very exciting. And the third entry is this right here, and it's going to take quite a bit of work. This might be the most drastic redesign I've done in one of these series. Now, if you think I did a good job, let me know in the comments. If you think I did worse than your original, just be quiet, don't talk. However, everybody should subscribe. Let's get started. But first, of course, wait one second. If you're producing designs that could be featured on this show, then you should definitely check out the UI Design Bootcamp at the sponsor of this video, Scrimba.com. At Scrimba, you don't just watch videos. No, 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 you're actually able to modify code in the browser while you learn. My course on UI design features over 100 lessons that are specifically tailored to help you become an awesome UI designer, and they're packed with interactive challenges. So I'm serious. I've talked to many students that have taken the UI design bootcamp, and trust me, I've seen their work. They are much better. So definitely check out the top link in the description to get access to my bootcamp, along with many, many other courses for a low monthly fee. Let's get started. Our first entry here is a hero section which has several issues with white space, alignment, and contrast. So let's see if we can give this thing an improvement. So they had a pretty solid headline. It's large enough and it's nice and bold. And one thing I decided to do pretty quickly was to create a two column layout as their current approach contained quite a bit of rows of data all being stacked on top of each other. Now one area that they got wrong was their call to action buttons. There is simply not enough contrast based on the colors chosen. And based on this background color, I decided to use white as that would provide most of the contrast. Now for the second column, I decided to bring focus to the countdown and stack the four time blocks in rows to fill up that column appropriately. The second entry features a contact form, and the two issues this design suffers from the most are topography and contrast. So let's get started. So the topography overall is suffering a bit due to the tracking or the letter spacing that's occurring. They've used it, they've used it, sorry. They've used extended letter spacing in such a way that really throws off the flow of the design. Now, when in doubt, just stick to the default tracking. As for their text fields, there's simply not enough contrast based on the input background and the background that it's sitting on. You need to use either a high contrast border or ensure that the background itself has a high enough contrast in comparison to the background it's sitting on. And you also need to ensure that the text inside of the input field also contrasts enough. And this is true for both placeholder values and also the real typed in values as well.
Now, right here, I decided to experiment with a little bit of a graphic design, creating an arrow that points from the left column where the contact label is to the right column where the actual form is. Now, this is, of course, completely unnecessary, but I figured I'd have some fun. Now this third and final design has quite a few issues as it pertains to alignment, white space, and overall composition. I spent a lot of time on this one, so let's see how I improved it. So the first issue I tackle is the nav bar. The logo is way too much of an afterthought based on the original design. Not enough white space was placed above it, and it shouldn't be based on a fluid 100% width alignment. Also, they've broken a cardinal rule. Don't use a hamburger menu on desktop, especially if you only have four links. There's more than enough room width-wise to place those links, therefore reducing the amount of clicking a person has to access the navigation. Notice how nice, thick, and bold I've made the headline. It stands out so much more than the original design. The same can be said about the call to action button as well. You want both your headline and your call to action to be very obvious with high contrast. Now next, I decided to use an entirely different illustration. It's a more detailed and more interesting illustration, which suits the hero section much more, rather than just placing an extra large icon. This is a free illustration, and there are plenty of free illustration resources you can use, so check the YouTube description for the link. So I spend the rest of the time just customizing the color and also trying to create an additional illustration of something like a shooting star. All right, now that was so fun. Don't you like these? Let me know if you want to see more of these in the comment section. Let me know what you thought, you know, if I did worse, I don't care. You can let me know. I, I did not do worse. There's, there's no way I did worse on any of these. But let me know if you think there's something I could improve those. But anyhow, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you all soon. Goodbye. Yeah.